All right, good morning. It's uh, Friday, June 30th. Uh, not a whole lot going on just yet, so I guess I'm going to post a little video here on a calf update. Calves are doing pretty fair. They were freshly bedded again this morning. Um, <laughs> we're, we're starting to dry up. We're starting to dry up. The rain has, uh, we, we've still been rained on uh, quite a bit, but um, very little compared to what we had been getting. And we're starting to dry up. We have great times of coming, starting, according to the future outlook weather, uh, starting Sunday evening of next week. <clears throat> Monday, I see us dropping more hay than this farm has ever dropped in its history. Um, between Dad and his uh, John Deere Moco Dispine and me and the New Holland, Dad is going to drop a bunch of uh, overgrown paddocks out in our grazing system. And uh, we're going to drop a couple of fields here right around the farm. And uh, perfect world, Monday evening, I am going to drop our prized alfalfa field. Um, 4th of July, I will be baling baleage and wrapping, and that's okay. Um, I, I've always worked on the 4th of July anyway, in the mornings and afternoons and even in the evening. Um, the only thing I ask for on the 4th of July is I usually take my ranger up to the uh, Big Veezer Hill and uh, watch the fireworks from the town that's uh, two miles away. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. So we got some major production coming, major production for us. <clears throat> anyway, calves are doing okay. It's kind of mid-morning here, so they're, they're lazy and napping, which is, which is okay. This guy wasn't doing very good. Uh, he's kind of got the lop ear going on. He is sick. Um, I just gave him a treatment of new floor. I, in my pocketbook, are a big believer in new floor. Um, yeah, there's, there's Draxon, um, Zactrin, and a bunch of other stuff out there that it, it's, it's the wonder drug, but uh, it, it drains your pocket. I can't do that. I got to pick a happy medium, and I'm a big believer in new floor. So, anyway, he just got a treatment. Five minutes ago, and um, I guarantee you he's going to be up and alive and better here uh, for night feeding tonight. <clears throat> I just cleaned out and filled all these uh, all the water, so they all got fresh water, every one of them. Even some young ones that I normally would not put water in front of, they, they got some as well. Yesterday I weaned off some calves. I weaned off five calves. They were put in the super hutch. Um, they're not getting milk anymore, and boy, are they, they're they madder than a firecracker. But they're doing okay. I'm starting to regroup here again. Um, I haven't bought in calves for this is week number three. And I'm starting to regroup. I'm starting to wean some off, make some room. Yeah. I still didn't do a uh, Angus herd video yet. Here's a little look at it. You're going to see some Holsteins out there too. Um, actually, you can see a little Holstein calf there as well. Uh, those Holsteins are not matured yet. They are what's called Springer heifers. They are starting to be bred right now by AI. And uh, they are going to be sold in the latter part of the winter um, as a sprinter heifer. It's still going to have the calf insider. It'll go to the farm about a month or two before it has the calf so it can get acclimated to the farm and then put on the pipeline. It is still pretty wet around here. Um, it still looks like crap around here, but it is drying up. You can see things drying up and it's... That's just a great thing. 
spring and summer from hell. But it's ending. Ah, uh, super hutches. These guys are going to get moved today. I can't keep this super hutch clean. And there's enough in here where if I, I, I just bed the actual hutches, not the outside, a little bit of the outside yesterday. And it's already very dirty. Um, I'm moving these guys today. These guys were just freshly weaned off yesterday. Like I said, they're they're quiet right now and laying down, but they are mad. Oh, they're mad. Especially when they see me feeding milk. In fact, one of them got out last night, even with this little rigged up uh, twine deal. He got out. The super hutch pen that I'm moving, they're gonna move into here. I cleaned this one and that one out. Um, a couple days ago and I like to let them dry like you see that right there I don't want that in there when I move calves in here but I, I really don't have a choice things are drying up and that other the other super hutch is just too nasty for me I want to move them so yeah I got everything kind of ready here the bunks are back in place it's all cleaned out it's just a matter of me bedding this down and uh, hooking the trailer up which is a lot easier than me doing it one by one. Which actually I think I need to do them one by one. There's three calves in that pen that did not get banded, which is the other word for castrated. These Holstein calves are, what a big difference. Sometimes you can't even properly castrate them, ban them after two months of age. They're just, <laughs> there's certain things that just don't really exist yet. So anyway, I got three of them that I gotta, I gotta tackle here. So I probably will be doing them one by one. Uh, there's the grain bin, it's all put together. Uh, just to test it out and let things settle, I uh, put 2,500 pounds of uh, country calf mix in there uh, the other day. I have yet to put on the, uh, the rope deal to lift up the top. I will get to that, but um, yeah, turned out okay. I want to take that cardboard off those cylinders here. Uh, I'll be getting to that today as well. But uh, that's about it. I'm going to spend the rest of the day here kind of cleaning up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to transfer those calves. Uh, put these hutches back where they belong. Clean them up. Bed them down. Well, I won't be bedding them down. I don't bed up the hutches until I'm ready to bring calves home so they have nice, fresh, dry straw. And I will probably be helping out my neighbor farmer... Um, this afternoon and tonight, I believe. I uh, just got a little piece of bad news. Um, one of the men that they depend on greatly, <laughs> he fell off his brother's roof yesterday and broke his arm. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be helping those guys out a lot, which I'm happy to do when I can um, without being greedy and selfish uh, it's just smart uh, my, my stuff does come first but if I'm not on my stuff I'm, I'm going to be helping them little problem with the manure spreader yesterday I uh, ran the barn cleaner and cleaned those five hutches and I'm going to call it a paddle that paddle right there was bent up, which is a bad, bad ordeal for one of these manure spreaders. Well, no problem, I caught it in time. Brought it home, took the old sledgehammer to it, and it broke like it was paper. So, I gotta get in contact with H&S, or uh, maybe even Swiderski, who's an H&S dealer, 
and uh, not only order one of those paddles, I call them a paddle, apron, whatever, but um, I'll probably order a half a dozen. Um, if one started going, there's, there's multiple others that are going to start. That's just the nature of uh, having one of these spreaders. Great spreader. It just uh, regular maintenance. Uh, the steer lot is a mess, but it's drying out slowly but surely. Uh, all the steers are up on the hill right now grazing. It's amazing they uh, they really tore the hell out of that uh, that north north hill pasture. So what I'm doing to give that pasture a little breathing room is I started feeding haylage again. So they're only going out to pasture maybe 50% of what they were. In fact, probably less than that. Um, it's a good feed here, and it relieves a little bit of all the. Uh, um, all the grazing up on the uh, North Hill. I want that North Hill alive all summer up until about uh, September, October. Which does mean that I'm going to have to shut it down here sooner than later for a couple few weeks. And probably again in time to come. So. That's about it. All right. Not very interesting, but this is a little bit of an update. We'll talk to you later.